Okay, this is Linda Harris, YouTube's Happy Hoof, and I'm doing a video evaluation of a horse in South Africa, a warm blood that is five years old. And uh, I'm, I got these x-rays. Somebody sent me these x-rays, and this is what they, they asked. So I'm going to show you what is wrong with this horse. Hi, Linda. Need your opinion on the above x-rays. Lift, that is the x-rays, were taken last week. Once, the right x-rays were taken about six months ago. This horse is a warm blood gilding, so good big heavy horse, you know. Rising five. He is in radical work. Uh, the vet said she is worried about the pedal bone on the latest x-rays. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what's wrong with this horse and what is wrong with thousands and thousands of horses. Um, not only that are being done by farriers because they don't understand the, the anatomy of the back of the foot, okay, but especially in um, what we have been taught to do in barefoot trimming because I did it to my horse, okay? And uh, I get letters from people every day and pictures every day showing the exact same thing going on. And for the exact same reason, because this teaching has gone viral in the last 10 years. And uh, all these clinicians teaching the same thing, which is um, taking the hairline down to 30 degree hairline, the uh, 45 degree dorsal wall, the uh, uh, from the hairline to the end of the heel buttress, one and one eighth inch, trimming the heels totally out of the horse. And when you trim the heels out of the horse, every time you trim those heels down, a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more comes out. I'm going to have to explain exactly how this happens. Okay, because it's very deceptive. Because as the heels are being trimmed out of the horse, the periopal skin is stretching down and around and disguising what is going on. Okay, and the whole back of the foot is cartilage. So it is being pulled down and compressed and pulled forward. And after you trim the heel buttress itself out, then the bar in front of the heel buttress and the wall merge together to form a false heel buttress. So you don't even know you've trimmed the heels out of your horse. You know, I'll show you pictures of my horse. That, <laughs> wow, the way the heels were trimmed out. And if you don't have a heel buttress, you have no stability to that, that ring of hoof wall. It is the heel buttresses that give that hoof wall ring that grows down from the coronary band the stability okay otherwise it, you, the foot just moves all over inside of it and uh, you know those heel buttresses in the back keep that thing stable okay so here we have the x-rays oh, I made my thing too big so I can't move this There we go. See, definitely an imbalance here. Th just the way the horse is standing. Very shallow, narrow collateral grooves. Something weird is going on there. Okay, but that's, I'll show you how to tell what's wrong here. Where am I at? Okay, what we have, what I have here. This here is an anatom perfect anatomically correct and structurally correct foot. It is an x-ray of a wild horse's hoof. It is the, 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 this horse was found by Pete Ramey on his trip to California. I get, I think it was Northern California, um, uh, up by Oregon. 
and uh, they found this wild mare, three old mare, dead in a cattle guard. And uh, it was winter, and she was froze. And they actually got fresh cadaver feed off this mare. Um, okay, this this is the foot. What the foot looked like right here. See there. Okay, now I want you to notice something about this foot, and that is the inner foot is totally contained in this whole capsule. Now, so much wrong teaching out there that once you have learned something the wrong way, which is basically a lie, and been taught that a lie is the truth, then, then that's the way you see it after that. You're not seeing it clearly, okay? So heels, the heel is not just these little tips back here this is the heel of the horse all the way over to the bar that would include the sole that triangle area of sole and the seat of the corn the heel buttress the side wall okay this can all be trimmed out of the foot now the coffin bone looky there the coffin bone goes right to here right Okay, this is all cartilage back there. You see how there's no bone in there? Okay, that's all cartilage. Okay, uh, reach up and press your nose down. Reach up and bend your ear over. That's cartilage. Cartilage is bendable and manipulatable. Okay, we're going to look at what your heel is. Okay, you see, here, let me turn this around here just a second. Okay, I hope I didn't make this screen too big so that you can see what's going on here. Okay, so I flipped this around. You have got to get what the heel is right in your head and understand. Here's the coffin bone, where the coffin bone ends right here. See that? Okay, everything, everything behind here is cartilage. Okay, this composes the heel of your horse. This can be bent and movable. Um, I'm going to show you how movable it is. Um, so the heel is not just these little, the, just this little end back here. Okay, that's not your heel. That is the heel buttress, which can be totally trimmed out of the foot. Um, okay, your heel is all this plus going clear over here all the bar this whole area can be trimmed in such a way as to totally trim it out like first okay and it's the side wall here too okay let's see see the side wall okay that can be totally trimmed out of the foot as as you over lower the heels up that way okay now look I've already taken that side part of that side wall out right now this lowers this all down to the ground here pulling the hairline down like this okay now as I keep trimming that heel down this whole area here right here starts going like this see to where you can trim this whole section of wall out of the foot right there okay now what happens to the foot inside you you've trimmed this whole piece of hoof wall out well, gradually over time increment by increment okay and so the cartilage that was in here gets pulled down and and pulled forward say okay this gets oh well here this gets all pulled down like this and and then you the back of your foot you you've totally lost the back of your foot okay so you have to regrow all this All right, 
So again, this is all cartilage. And as you trim this out, and what happens is this periopal skin right here, see this periopal skin right there? That will stretch clear to here with the heels. Okay. Okay, here's an example where uh, I trimmed the heels out of my horse. See how the periopal is tri trimmed down? And you see this here? This is not heel buttress. This is sidewall. I already trimmed all that out of my horse. See the stretching of the periopal skin? Okay, now the, the, the frog corium is just right here. I have no real frog on this horse at all. I'll have to find a side picture. Just a second. Okay, here's an example of uh, when a foot has, has heel buttresses, like this one does here. The stability, how it stabilizes the wall. This is an example of when uh, the heel buttresses are trimmed out of the foot and and the inner weight of the inner foot is it, it just the hoof capsule itself is not stable enough by itself without the heel buttress to support the weight of the horse so you see how uh, unstable and and curved and everything it is there here is an example of the wall being trimmed out of the foot, the whole heel buttress here, and the side wall and everything else trimmed out of this foot. Here is an example of it starting to be grown back. See this mark here? This is the side wall um, of the heel that I showed you being restored to this foot. Here is where it's trimmed out. See, this is just pure periopal skin here. There is no wall right there. This is periopal skin that is stretched clear up to here and is covering the bulb here which should only be about this wide right to where my little hand is here see that's as wide as that should be but this skin is stretched clear down here okay here's a horse from Germany Okay, you see what the foot was like, how the heel was totally trimmed out and it just compressed and pulled that. What happens is it pulls the cartilage up under the coffin bone and pulls the coffin bone down this way. So it creates this little tuby foot here. Okay, this is the foot after she started regrowing the heel sidewall in here. You, you would never be able to tell that was the same foot, would you? Okay, but see. The whole heel was trimmed out. And it takes on different manifestations. You know, this is different than the foot I showed you before, but it's the same issue, the same problem. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, so let's look at the feet of this warm blood and compare them, compare it to uh, the feet of this wild horse. Now, usually if I get x-rays, I would like to see the same kind of pictures of the horse's foot as well as the x-rays because to really know what's going on, you have to look at the hoof capsules. You have to look at the horn tubules and the growth rings and things like that. But really, I can tell by x-rays and I'm going to show you how to tell. Okay, so the first thing I want you to look at is um, the collateral groove. Okay, now on this they put a wire up the collateral groove. First of all, um, the hoof wall goes like this. Okay, so, so he's got, and I know from measurements and other pictures that from here to here is three and a half inches. Okay, this and this horse has an inch of sole right here. Right in here. He's got a, a good inch of sole. Um, all right, so uh, let's look at the collateral grooves right here. You see that? This runs up around here and then like that. See it? Okay, now let's look at the collateral grooves here. Okay, look, here's your collateral groove. Runs right there. See, that's because the heel is trimmed out. 
and all this cartilage look how nice and relaxed you know this cartilage is it's fitting within the capsule capsule goes clear back to here and around okay look at here I don't know where the hoof wall is on this horse exactly but I know that all this cartilage that should be nice and relaxed and loose is just pulled clear up into here clear up into here and look at the collateral groove how it ends right there okay look okay this is the right foot now look at the left foot there's your collateral groove right there okay you see the difference say again here's your collateral groove it's nice and full and whole but when the heel is trimmed out here um, let's see here. okay this is what you have okay this on this other horse here at least this much of the heel has been trimmed out of that horse well what happens to the inner foot there okay it's attached to the hairline and and the heel wall and stuff and all this cartilage is just pulled up in here see see the shortness of the foot all right so that's what's wrong with the horse so what needs to happen here is the heel buttress needs to be restored to this horse okay let's go here just a second oops okay now you see here that all this here again can be trimmed out okay just like you saw it on this horse this horse here see that all this she is restored this foot is not done and this this is a warm blood well I think it's a warm blood anyway I know it's a horse over in Germany I know it's a pretty good sized horse Yeah, so you know this is a worldwide epidemic you know thanks to barefoot trimming it's worse than it's ever been you know used to be farriers you know not all of them did this but it happened you know but now through the teachings of quote barefoot trimming uh, natural barefoot trimming through Strasser and then Cheryl Henderson and some of all these other teachers that uh, are offshoots of Strasser um, they trim the heels right out of the horse okay and this is the dilemma that is happening all over the world okay so we need to let people know what's going on and they need to understand and uh, we need to start trimming the heels differently with an understanding of uh, how to restore this whole area and the whole heel buttress Yeah, I mean, then there's a few other issues. I'm sure it's got hoof wall jamming some and things like that. But mainly it's this heel thing that's going on with this horse here.